it was a point gained rather than two lost in the end. A very different Swan side ran out last night to the one that battled so hard against Doncaster last week. Rochdale deserving their goal courtesy of Leo Bertos's drive past Brian Murphy just before the half hour. This certainly didn't look like a side pushing to get back into playoff contention. If we play like we did last night, we can forget about it. I mean, that's being realistic. You know, we can forget about getting near there. But if we play like we did against Doncaster, then it's achievable. Uh, we've got to play like the games we've had against Doncaster and Cambridge away uh, and produce many more than performances. The second half showed a little more promise, with both sides having their fair share of chances. But it was left to substitute Brad Maylett to provide the point with 12 minutes left. The game did leave the Swans with some personnel problems, though. Both James Thomas and Chris O'Leary out of contention this weekend, and Lee Trundle didn't come through today's reserve game. So Flynn's anxious to secure Rochdale's Paul Connor if the deal can be done. First and foremost, Rochdale don't want to leave him. Other teams want them as well. You know, uh, there's competition from other teams for these players. So, but, but hopefully we can get something resolved sooner. It's unlikely to be before Swansea's trip to struggling South End on Saturday, though. The Swans now in 